There's an old saying in journalism, follow the money, whether it's a political scandal, a stock market swindle, or even a war. Follow the money and you will find the culprit. So we decided to follow the money in Afghanistan. How much are we talking about? Around $2.26 trillion. That's how much America spent in Afghanistan. In other words, $300 million a day. American presidents keep waxing eloquent on taxpayer dollars being spent on Afghanistan. But where did all of this money go? The Afghans certainly don't have it. 90% of the people in Afghanistan live on less than $2 a day. The fact is, most of this money went back to the US. How? through defense companies and contractors. You see, America basically outsourced the Afghan war. They were funding it, but most of the work was being done by private companies, American private companies. They did everything in Afghanistan. They supplied vehicles, they supplied aircraft, weapons, ammunition. They trained Afghan soldiers, and they did not do this for free. They were paid for all of this. Think of it as a revolving door. U.S. government made the payments, but the money never left America. It was transferred to U.S. companies. The numbers support this. Let's look at the top five military contractors. Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, General Dynamics, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman. Between 2001 and 2021, these companies got $2.02 trillion in public funding. $2.02 trillion. Where did this money go? Into Afghanistan? Iraq, Syria, and many other futile wars. We say American soldiers lost the Afghan war, and they did. But American businessmen had a, spl had a splendid victory. We have more numbers to support this. Let's go back to September 18, 2001, just seven days after 9-11. Assume you bought $10,000 worth of stock from America's top five military contractors, $10,000 in 2001. Do you know how much those stocks are worth today? Almost 100,000. Ten times more than 2001. Other stocks would have only given you $60,000, but defense companies were a different deal altogether. Imagine the profits. It tells you why the war dragged on for 20 years. A forever war also means forever profits. The Pentagon keeps boasting about how they built up the Afghan army. Well, here's the truth. The Pentagon flooded Afghanistan with American technology. Afghan soldiers carried American rifles. They drove American trucks. They flew American aircraft. All of these were bought from U.S. contractors. So the money never left America's borders. It's a massive nexus between arms dealers, politicians, and the White House. Whistleblowers had flagged this nexus. Here's WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange talking about the Afghan war back in 2011. The goal is not to completely subjugate Afghanistan. The goal is to use Afghanistan to wash money out of the tax bases of the United States, out of the tax bases of European countries, through Afghanistan, and back into the hands of a transnational security elite. That is the goal i.e. the goal is to have an endless war, not a successful war. Hard to argue with that. Nation building was just an excuse to get rich. The United States had established a special agency to monitor Afghan reconstruction. This is what it's called, Special Inspector General for Afghanistan Reconstruction. They submitted a report in 2018. What did it say? Almost $15 billion had disappeared. $15 billion. How? Through fraud and wastage. Most of it ended up in U.S. pockets. And this is not military expenditure. This is nation building. Roads, dams, government buildings. Not only did American companies make money, they royally messed up the situation. Let me give you an example. This is the uniform of the Afghan National Army. It's a forest camouflage, perfect for fighting in the tropics. But in Afghanistan, it makes no sense. The country has 2% forest cover, 2%. If anything, the soldiers stood out. That was another $28 million for U.S. contractors and of no use to Afghans. This sums up the American engagement, basically. No oversight, no scrutiny, just billions of dollars flowing endlessly over 20 years. What did the Afghans gain from it? Nothing. They still live in poverty and hunger.
So American taxpayers did not rebuild Afghanistan, they rebuilt their own economy and this is America's strategy everywhere. Bomb countries back to the Stone Age and then pretend to build it back. In each of these countries, the American military lost, yes, but America, Inc. won decisively.